Hey YouTube, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm going to be showing you how to implement uh, Codeless IAP, it's in-app purchasing. So let's go over to, so go over to services first of all, and let's head over to in-app purchasing, and we're going to enable it. Oops, alright, click this to enable it, and then we're going to import, so over here that says welcome, we're going to press import. And we're going to import that into our project. So this can take a while, depending on um, depending on how fast your computer is. So simply pause the video if this takes a while. I'm gonna probably come back in a few minutes as well once this is um, up and ready to go. Okay, so it's compiling the scripts. And then okay, so once you get this, it will say import Unity package and make sure everything here is ticked so you don't want anything unticked or else you might be missing some vital um, important stuff so let's click import okay so this can this can take a bit for it to finish so I'll be right back once this is done okay so once that's finished importing you should now get a new folder on the left on your assets folder there should now be a folder called plugins and when you right click on your hierarchy you should now see unity IAP so that means that it is that will basically tell if you have successfully imported it in your project and since we have successfully done so let's go and set up a the button I'm gonna create it what I'm gonna first do is create a canvas if you already have an existing project, like an, a, an application that you already made, you don't have to create a new canvas, but since this is a new project, specifically for this tutorial, I made a new canvas, alright? So, because screen space dash camera, and for the render camera, I am going to drag in the main camera. And now, we in the canvas, we can right-click. Actually, before we do that, let's change the color of this, because it's, it's kind of blue, and we don't really want actually no nah, that's that's time consuming we don't have to do that so let's go to canvas and right click and go unity IAP what we're gonna do is create an IAP button IAP button okay and we're gonna drag this up probably around here this will be let's see we can call this button S test purchase and then I'm gonna right go under here and the text I'm gonna change to say purchase example <clears throat> alright then we're gonna okay, click the button and we're gonna go to IAP catalog because we don't have product ID right now so let's go to IAP catalog okay so our product ID is empty so let's call this let's say we can call this purchase one you can obviously call the ID whatever you wish. I'm just gonna call it purchase one. Um, and it's gonna be consumable, cause we actually had to do all this in the code, but Unity implemented a way. It's called Codeless IAP, so we can do all this much easier now. So yeah, select consumable. The title of this can you can call this title purchase. You don't have to really, and you can also make a description. Uh. Just gonna put a random description there just to save some time. <coughs> and then the Apple configuration. You can make the price, so you can choose what um how much you want it to cost. So I'm gonna make this um probably probably one dollar for now. <coughs> so um let's go to Google configuration and price, you can do the same thing. So 0 0.99, one dollar. Pricing template, we don't really have to put anything in it for now. Um, let's make this window bigger and let's I suggest to you initialize the unity purchasing so see this box here it is unticked simply tick it okay and yes yeah, so the reason why we want that to tick is because we want the iApp SDK to initialize so that the in-app purchasing will work in the first place now it should occur automatically as well when the first instance of a codeless IAP button or probably an IAP listener would load at the same time okay so yeah make sure that is ticked else also and it also would um, eliminate dependencies and the codeless instances life cycles as well now the 
Apple Team ID, you if you already have a developer license, then you need to go to a developer at apple.com somewhere to get it. I don't have to really put anything on it for now because I'm not I'm not gonna submit this on the App Store, but but um you will need that as well. So just simply go to your developer at apple.com to get your app your team ID. Should be somewhere around that website. Alright, so once you once it's done, simply close the window. Once you got all the uh, product ID set up, we're gonna head over to product ID and select purchase one because that's the ID that we listed down in iApp catalog. All right, so last thing we last thing we want to do is to also make a make a, a script. So this is gonna this is the only time we're actually scripting. So um, probably create a actually we don't have to create a game object. Just go to main camera and add component. What this new script is gonna be? Let's call this a uh, purchase script. Oops, I typed that wrongly. Yeah, purchase script. Create new script and then create an ad. Now let's double click this. Wait for that to yeah. Let's double click that, and we're going to open up Visual Studio or Mono Develop. In my case, it is Visual Studio. All right, now here we're going to add in a few um, few methods. All right, so this one will be one if purchase is completed, and if purchase failed. So first things first, let's go over to um, underneath our update. Uh, method and let's go over to public void and then we're gonna do by complete um, bracket unity engine dot uh, purchasing dot product um, space product Ooh, okay let me, let me finish typing that alright product add in an um, open parenthesis and we're gonna space it out it should generate a, another closing parenthesis for you but if it didn't do that, simply put that in yourself. So that is if it's completed, okay? So if it's not completed, so let's say the purchase failed, um, we're gonna do public void. This time it's gonna be um, by failed. So V U Y F A I L E D. Um, bracket Unity Engine dot uh, purchasing dot product. No, nope, not promo product. And then we're gonna space product, comma. So this is gonna be Unity Engine dot purchasing dot purchase failure reason space um, failure reason. I know it's quite a lot of um text, but that's how, that's how it is. All right, so. Make sure you've got it correct. So this can be a little confusing for you. So I will leave this on for probably five, a uh, few seconds just to make sure you got it. So quickly double check before I continue this tutorial. Should say Unity Engine dot purchasing dot product space product. Unity Engine dot purchasing dot product. So just this part is the same as the top, except we're adding in another line here that says Unity Engine dot purchasing dot purchase failure reason space failure reason alright we don't just make so make sure you had that already all typed in um I've given you five seconds so let's continue with the next step now this will be debug.log um, two power two brackets and then open speech marks in the middle and this will say purchase a uh, failed and then we're going to go to public void by complete <clears throat> and then we're going to, now this one you can actually you can actually choose which one on what you want to do here so i'm going to do a debug.log uh, we're going to say purchase complete and also what i also want to add so also want to add is um debug.log and so this will be. Oh, this will also say. Actually, we don't need to add anything. Actually, just say purchase complete. Okay, so you can do whatever you want. Okay, so whatever you want to buy, you can add it in the um, buy complete. So here, all I simply want to do is put debug.log purchase complete. All right. So it's not really going to do anything, but put something in the console. So it, it will now it, will, it should listen to console once you click on the button, but let's quickly do that by going test purchase. 
let's click on the bottom test purchase and then I'm gonna go to on purchase complete product click the plus button now I'm gonna do main camera because that's that is where we put our script if you go to main camera that was where we put our purchase script so that's why we put main camera now on, on purchase failed do the same thing uh, drag in the main camera or select the circle and select main camera from there <coughs> And we want to go to no function, purchase script, we're going to um, select by complete. Alright, so let's go click the play button. And if you click the purchase example, it will say, do you want to purchase, purchase one environment fake store? And click buy. Now, if you notice, it says purchase complete. If we go back to Visual Studio, we also had a purchase complete that we that we put in our console, and it was underneath our buy complete um um function. So basically, once you have that working, that is once you have that working, that is basically it. You have implemented a codeless IAP into your product. So thank you all very much for watching. Now I, I think that's it for this tutorial. If this video helped you out, I'll leave a like and hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next programming tutorial. Also possibly another music video tutorial as well. Um not music video tutorial, more like a um music video that I'll be doing as well, probably in a few weeks. Anyway, I hope to see you all there and again as I said earlier, leave a like if this helped you out. If something else didn't work for you, probably comment down below and I will see if I can find a solution to your problem as well. Alright, peace out. Um, thank you all very much for watching.